talk about working with me on this project. Maybe you ought to check with Carl Houston and find out why he quit. I know why he quit. He bought the rumors about you. Look, Teb, I can spare three hours a day. If we work together on this, maybe we can come up with something that'll change Garson's vote. Together? You tie in with me and I'll drag you down, too. You know, this kind of talk isn't getting us anywhere. You can't be that naive. Garson must have gotten one of those letters. Probably. Then G. Ludwin doesn't stand a chance of getting past him. I am selling a new drug, not rumors about a man's private life. Joe, stay clear. You'd be safer attacking motherhood than defending me. I'm defending your work. Joe, you'll lose. You know, I know a certain young lady who would probably appreciate it if we knocked off the garbage and got down to work. You got a spare lab coat? What does it take to get through to you? Why don't you face it? It's a fact. I am a homosexual. Thanks for trying. It's about Teverly. We're trying everywhere to reach him. His apartment, the lab, the library. Every place I can think of. Give him time to cool down, Joe. Tev's angry. Well, who can blame him? What gives anybody the right to criticize a man for what he chooses to do on his own time? He told you, didn't he? Joe, I knew Ben Teverly was a homosexual when I hired him. He spelled it out for me before the interview could get off the ground. Well, I didn't think I had the right to mention it without checking with him first. Of course. What he didn't know during that interview was that I already knew about him. Did you know, Joe, that Tev was forced to resign his last post? He never mentioned anything about it. It seems that particular lab was so demoralized when they found out about him, they sent out vindictive letters warning other research institutions to be on the lookout for this corrosive, corrupt scientist they'd just let loose. A sickness of intolerance. Yeah. When do you think we'll find a cure for that?